Yeah, you, know, you want to hear a cool Zen cone? Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. It's like a question. It's a riddle. Uh, if you call this a staff, you affirm, right? You say like, yeah, it is a staff. If you say it is not a staff, you deny. So it's not a staff. Beyond affirmation and denial, what is it? Beyond saying it's a staff or not a staff, what is it? What is it? Nothing? Mm-hmm. Yes! 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 You're so good. I do. That's so funny. When I read it, I was like, oh, that's a hard one. Oh, it's probably nothing. And then you said it too. It is nothing. Well, I mean, they didn't give you the answer in the book, but that's exactly what I wrote. Because if it's not, if you're not affirming it or you're not denying it, you're doing nothing to it. So that's what they're saying. Reality is there's nothing in reality. So everything that you see, when when like you see it, you read in the yoga books, and it says like, um, I'll probably keep this part in. Uh, when when it when you see things, oh, I can't keep this part in. I probably can't keep this part in. Maybe I can keep this part in. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> this will be our intro. Welcome to another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is uh, episode whatever. Anyways, so uh, yeah, that's cool, right? Because um, because so like when when they say like the universe is made up of nothing, that's that's what they're trying to say because everything you see. Is not but real. I don't, think, wait, who, I don't think they're trying to say that, though. The, the mystics, the mystics. Like, the people that have already figured this out. Because this is an old riddle. Like, it's from, like, ancient times. Yeah. Right? Um, th- this, is what, this is what the masters would go to. Like, uh, not the masters. Like, these students would seek out these masters who would tell them, like, the secret of the universe. But the mm. person is, like, what they say is you can't really know what the universe is you can only like you can only become enlightened to it but you have to come to the conclusion yourself that's why they they give you these riddles right and once you can start answering the riddles that's how you know you understand the universe right you understand what's really going on so the biggest truth is that it's all in your head so this zen code is basically telling you that like what the book was started off with was i really like this part um you're just guessing your reality so if if somebody says to you like what just happened it's your best guess you yeah, can yeah. never know even in your own brain if you try and recall what happened it's your best guess mm-hmm. so there really is no reality it's just you're you're guessing what's going on so all of life is an unknown so there's really nothing true about life yeah and then they even they even went so far as like okay but you're probably going to talk about like science right science is true and then they start talking about how like at different levels science changes so like uh einstein proved that time is not is relative so if you go into space the clock will be different than the clock on earth Mm -hmm. right yeah i thought that was cool yeah i I was surprised i'm not i guess i'm not surprised you get it i thought you'd be like yeah i don't really care for this riddle but then when you said I was like, yeah, that's totally it. That's exactly what I came up with too. It is nothing. Mm-hmm. Music plays here. The man, the myth, the legend, the mustache, Superman, <laughs> okay. doing it up. Mm-hmm. Mission Impossible movie review, episode sixty. Special one because they use special effects. What's that movie? I already blocked it out of my mind. What? Was it was the movie where the special effects to affect his mustache, get it out of there? Oh, Justice League. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah, that's that's how bad it was. I totally forgot. Uh, equally just as bad. No, not equally. Yeah. But it's yeah, I, I didn't really like this one. Spoiler alert. Cool. But uh, you were saying that um, he, he did his actually, own stunts. Yeah, yeah, he did his own stunts. Yeah, which, which, which might have actually elevated. Your score. My score, yeah. yeah. So, do, do you do you change your score now? Yeah. All right, to what? To what? It's to a seven. To, ooh, to <laughs> a seven because he because he did his own stunts. This is a big fan. Yeah, hey, I, I was wrong. Realism what, what was fake. All right, cool. So fake, went from a, a zero to a seven. I like how you jumped so high there. Bitch. Zero, what? Zero. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't remember what your original score was, but yeah. Six point five. Six point five. Yeah. Uh, merchandise. Yeah, pick up some teas on Teespring. Support the podcast. Uh, or you just like, share, subscribe, comment, video reply. That'd be kind of cool. 
Cool. Yeah, um, that's, I guess what I can say is save your money. This is a Netflix. Sure. You think so? Netflix? I don't know. Some of those stunts probably require it, like in a movie. Okay, true, say. yeah. We saw an IMAX, so it was pretty cool. But listen to the rest of this to get the full breakdown. Of course. Yeah. Here we go. One. Boom, and we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. You're probably wondering why there was a weird, um, uh, like, like why was the intro midway through the beginning bit? It's because we like to leave on like a minute or two of just gameplay before we. Well, if you've watched this, you'll you'll notice like it goes black and white, then it goes into the actual podcast. But I was just like um, killing time by asking Visha. Uh, a cone that I read in a book and he came to the same conclusion as me so I thought that was cool I thought I'd keep it in there but this is not your regularly scheduled podcast of five things four things from the week we changed it not five because the uh, download time is too fast oh we didn't put the layers on here <laughs> yeah, was oh it's gonna nice kill one. my render time okay we'll do it for next week um, yeah we had to like cut it down to five uh, four topics instead of five because if it started to go over an hour it would be like five hours of rendering for me that's too much work right yeah so um this one shouldn't be too long i don't believe mm -hmm. this is actually a uh movie review because mm -hmm. we saw oh it is episode 60 and yes. especially for episode 60 you got first of all you got an awesome zen cone in the beginning and uh we're going to talk about superman's the, mo the movie that changed everything that required heavy special effects on an upper lip. I didn't even notice it in the Batman vs. Superman movie. Or no, um, it's the, yeah, Justice, Justice League. League. I, I noticed, noticed it. it so bad. Yeah, so no. bad. So the, this is the movie that... I think you gotta watch it again then you'll see. I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true, true. But I won't watch it again because that movie was trash. Just kidding. You guys deserve all the money in the world and all the praise because you are actors. That's awesome. Um... But, yeah, we saw Mission Impossible. It's the fridge. Damn. Whatever. Uh, so we, we saw Mission Impossible. The uh, uh, follow. Like, follow, yeah. Like, all movie reviews, we're going to score it, talk about it, score it again, see if we swayed our opinion. Mm. And uh, we'll let you go on your merry way. So, uh, wait, hold on. What was I going to say? Oh, I don't remember movie number four or five. I was watching the uh, recaps of them. Yeah. I think I kind of do, but I don't really remember it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I yeah. was like, uh, that was kind of, it was like a murky one. I don't really remember that one. I'd mm -hmm. have to, like, watch that one again. But it's probably not very good. That's probably why I don't remember it. Right. This series is kind of becoming, like, Fast and the Furious. It's like, you're just getting more and more ridiculous. You know? I, I oh, but hold on. Let's score other... first. Score first. Oh, what were you saying? Yeah. Okay, no, no. I'll score Before I started I'll ranting on it. Ra not ranting. What do you call it? ripping on it all right so um my score was f four mm, four to ten snap. i think really like six and a half you yeah. six and a half oh, all right okay reference points i understand okay so you probably are saying that because when we left there you're like oh remind me of everyone but like i remember the glory days of mission impossible of like number two and three i don't remember those yeah exactly so two and three were really good because they kept it realistic like it wasn't overly ridiculous like everything was like very uh like the most maybe ridiculous they didn't thing. do well in general no i think i think maybe they thought like we can get more of the audience if we do like over the top stuff like in in two and three you didn't get any like like i'm gonna jump out of a hell i'm gonna smash this helicopter with my helicopter heavy spoiler alert's coming you know what i mean like all that ridiculousness where you're like that would never happen they never did that in two and three two and three was like very realistic i was like oh yeah that's, that's yeah, okay, yeah i'm just saying that. like i don't know if the movie did well no yeah, i know yeah 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 maybe that's why they went in this direction maybe maybe, maybe well, in the past three or the past two whatever has been like this ridiculously remember the one where he was in dubai and then he was like outside scaling the thing i was like okay it's just we're getting ridiculous fellas yeah but that's that's what it's becoming. It's becoming that, yeah. But two and three were not like like that. like James Bond was like that, like with the crazy tech. Then yeah. James Bond became more realistic, realistic and it made yeah. more sense for James Bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, then it's dumbing down. But yeah, then exactly. uh, Mission Impossible has gone the other way. 
Well, the first Mission Impossible was ridiculous. There was oh, like okay. a a train and a helicopter scene where like they're battling on a train and a helicopter. So I guess they're just reverting back to the original Mission Impossible well, style. Because two and three, I they can, like went away with that and they made it realistic. Mm-hmm. And then four, I can tell it's working. More realistic. Five. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so well, uh, go ahead. The the. No, you you. What did you like? What did you not like about it? Yeah. So what did I not like? All right. I felt it was long and dragging. I did feel that at bits. It was a little too long. Yeah. Uh, so is, is that off? Your no, it's not off. <laughs> All right. I knew. All right, go ahead. Uh, damn it. This way. Okay. Uh, well, like, I felt like this is dumb, which is, like... Dumb? Like, there's parts Wait, of... Wait, you like, give it a six, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll give it a four. This, this, that's, like, a really bad score by me, but, yeah. Uh, so, this is not really in any order. I just what I remembered. <laughs> when, I think it was near the end... Where the two helicopters were like nudged in between those rocks. Oh my god! Yes, yeah. I felt like, like uh, no, no, is... no, 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 no. That that is what it was. When I was watching, I was like, "You're hurting my intelligence now." Like it's like I'm watching. But it's supposed. Like, okay, okay. Oh my god. I'll, I'll like, we'll get I'm to this. So, like, I'm just, I'm just being like. <laughs> that was hurt. the first thing I remembered, and I wrote that down. This is dumb. Uh, the oh, he, the running scene. I was like, "Yo, this guy's got cardio for days." But that's again, that's but part that's of his iconic. contract. Yeah, it's uh, iconic. Every thing, every every single movie that he does, he does has that. to do. So that. it's kind of like normal. Movie. It's more expected because he runs a lot of marathons and he wants to show off. Yeah, <laughs> I heard he's a really nice guy though. Aside from the whole Scientology uh, thing, like, yeah, okay. like I know there's like like there's dualities there, but like everyone that worked with him. Uh, I think Russell Brand was saying that he expected him to be all like Scientology-ish, but like he was like the nicest guy. And um, Russell Brand was like, "I can't believe I couldn't hate him," because he remembered he remembered all the little things. Like he's like, "Oh, how's your grandma doing?" And like, "Oh, I just got you this little gift because I was just thinking about you know." He's like super yeah, he's nice. Probably a nice guy. Sometimes yeah. people don't like Allison Mack was a nice police. girl. Yeah, I saw an interview. Yeah, with, I saw that too. Uh, yeah, I saw that too. The Lex Luger guy. Yeah, 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 I didn't know he was a comedian. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that was weird. Anyways. I didn't really listen to the whole thing. I just saw that clip. Yeah, uh, saw that clip so, too. the continuous chase in was it in Paris from the cops, which was weird and long. Yeah, it was kind of long. Uh, I felt like it was a, it was okay. no, it just they just that, kept that following one I was like, him. They that one I was like, oh, it's a nice thriller for me. I was like, oh, nah, that's cool. I, I, oh, that also I also felt it was too long. I was like, I should learn how to ride a motorbike. <laughs> you know, I was thinking. You ever see Red? You, you saw Red Sparrow, right? No, I had to see oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. So basically, Red Sparrow is like it's like the true life of a spy. So like, the the like um they they basically get these spies to be able to do anything. Yeah. So like even to the level of like, like, cause like uh, uh like sex is at the very nature of all human beings. So like mm-hmm. they make these Red Sparrows able to like do anything and I was watching the opening beginning part and I started to think of Red Sparrow I was like I wonder if Tom Cruise like not Tom Cruise Ethan Hunt has had to like become like 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 of the other I don't know how do you say this politically correctly (laughs) homosexual in his oh uh, I see what you mean you know what I mean like cause like he's like yeah he's like a suave ladies man but what if he has to get like a remember that scene in uh, Skyfall I think it was and like the the main villain was gay, and then like, oh, he yeah, was like yeah, hitting yeah. on James Bond. James Bond was like, "Oh, like I've never done this before." Like, <laughs> but like in in like real life, when they're doing the Red Sparrow movie, it's like, yeah, I could see them having to be able to go both ways, right? Or like do anything, yeah. Right? So I was like, I wonder. Like I like I like the whole idea of being a spy because like you grow up with that ideology, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do that stuff. <laughs> like, mm, this is where I draw the line, right? Uh. Yeah, so now the, yeah, the, the cop scene was too long. I was like, yeah, this is ridiculous. And then uh, I could tell it was CG. It was pretty bad. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's because IMAX, man. That's why we shouldn't watch things in IMAX, because it's so no. crystal clear. You're like, I remember I watched Thor in IMAX with you, and I was like, ooh, the costumes are so terrible. The lighting's so bad. Which Thor one? Thor. Uh, oh, Thor Ragnarok, you mean? No, no, sorry, sorry. I saw uh, Avengers, not Thor Ragnarok. Oh, I liked the Avengers one. Yeah, no, no, but I watched it twice. No, I liked it too. I'm, I'm talking about the the, oh, the difference, the visual. Oh, I like. So, I didn't have. I didn't see any of that in in, I, I, in IMAX. I, I was seeing it in IMAX. I was like, oh, it's it's like kind of weird. Like I can see the costumes are not really, like it didn't. It, it made it look like they were wearing like costumes. You know? <laughs> no, but then, but then yeah, I yeah, watched. Yeah. I watched it in um, in regular. 
uh, it was second 3D time. Too, right? Wasn't it? It was three D, yeah. And because the colors were darker, I couldn't even see the costume really. Oh, okay. So I was like, I couldn't focus on the detail. Like IMAX is like hyper detailed, right? So I, I like, like the detail. Though. I know you do, but I it for has me, to be filmed it, in IMAX. It has, like, and, and you have to be considering these things, mm-hmm. these like, pitfalls. Like, oh, they're going to be able to see that. That's why I try to look up if it was or not. I know most people, most films are trying to do that now. Mm. Because I guess but, it's cheaper than it was before. But if you, if you, like, for me, it takes away from the movie if if I start thinking, like, oh, I can tell that that's not real, you know? Most things in film are not real. No, no, of course, of course. But, like, that's why I but like to tell the, it, yeah. I like the less yeah, detailed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if it's less detailed, I stop thinking about mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. There you go. Uh, the, you know... I think it was the, like the last fight scene was just kind of ridiculous as he's trying to grab that. Con- oh my god! Yeah, the fighting was pretty good though. I was like, oh, it's I, pretty. I realistic. like the. I'll tell you the ones I like. Just, just the bad because that that wasn't really a good fight. It was just, he was just trying to grab that controller thingy. Oh, oh, when he was fighting Ethan Hunt yeah. and uh, Superman. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't like that. one. I didn't like I, that I meant one. The, I meant the the bathroom one. No, the bathroom one is really I good. Yeah, I like that and one too. And the one that was in that in the house was really good. Yeah, those are the two. Yeah, those, those are the two that I liked. <laughs> when I saw those two, I was like, oh, this is really good fighting. So right yeah, yeah, it was yeah. very realistic. They were using some real CQC. Yeah, there. it was like predictable too. The bad guy, like Superman, you, turning. Did, did you know that? <laughs> um, calling him Superman, but I don't know. He's real. Yeah, I don't know. What was this? Walker. Was it Walker? Texas Ranger. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know. Um, so, uh, what's his name? Tom Cruise has has studied like like uh, Kali for this role, which is that Filipino martial art thing, the knife fighting. Because uh, in John Re- Reacher, Jack Reacher, <laughs> yeah. So in Jack Reacher and in this one, he was using He's the using same it. fighting style. But it's it's meant for smaller people, and Tom Cruise is very small, and it's yeah, very short, like yeah. yeah, straight to the point. Like, you know when they were, like, stabbing him with a knife stuff? There was no, like, wrist lock disarms. It was, like, trap and then knock it out of the hand and then hit him, mm-hmm. which is more realistic. Like, uh, I remember, like, we were studying uh, knife knife fighting in um, the place where I practiced. Yeah. And they were showing me some moves, and I was, like, they're, like the, the guy, the veteran guy, who's, like, he trains the army and stuff, mm-hmm. they were showing these moves, and I was, like, I was like, this is not very realistic. So we tried to show, like, I, I was teaching it to yeah. another student. And then she was kind of feeling like this is not going to work in real life. Mm. So I was like, do you guys mind if I, like, show you a little variation that I, I did? Because I started doing my own version yeah. of it. And then she was like, oh, this is very real. Because it's like wrist locks in a fast scenario won't work. You have to grab the full limb. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. And I was watching Tom Cruise do it, and I was like, "Oh, totally, yeah." Because he would like he would dodge it. He'd get like two arms on one arm, and then knock it out of his hand, and then start hitting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is what you'd really do in real life. Because like, you couldn't catch the wrist at that speed if he's mm-hmm. like he's flailing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, okay. So I, I like the fighting style of that. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. That's, Tom Cruise's yeah, fighting. The style. last one wasn't yeah. That's the one I didn't like. Then the, like they always said, "Oh, of course the bomb diffusing in the last second." Ah, uh, so lame. I was like, "Yeah, well, yeah." <laughs> but I like how they did that. They're like, "We'll cut it on one to give us the most maximum amount of time." Oh, the other chasing that was long was the helicopter one. Oh yeah, God, yeah, no, it was hurting my uh, intelligence too. I was like, "Come on, guys!" And he didn't know how to fly the helicopter. Oh my God, you know how to fly the helicopter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, "I guess you're out of the like, spot." I'm weird, like, "How smart are you, bro?" There's a weird comedy stuff in there. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, there was weird comedy in it. So the things I oh yeah, yeah, it pulled me out of it in the beginning when he like Benji it was too funny and then they're like, he's, oh. all, he's already a funny guy like it's just but they made the movie too funny and it was like right I, it's either serious or funny it can't be both guys <laughs> you can't have a like that there's that's a contradicting two styles that's why you can have like a romantic comedy because they're two different one's a romance and one's a comedy but you can't have a serious comedy because it's like right. it's conflicting okay so they're not spies then you know what i mean yeah it's like a jokey spy i see you know what i'm saying yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so what did you like about the movie uh um, fighting fighting was cool only in those two scenes so yeah, the bathroom fight scene and the oh the Asian dude was good too. Frig, yeah, that was when, good when I was watching the Asian dude like throw kicks and punches. I was like, those would work. <laughs> like um, they made him a really good martial yeah, artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I was yeah. surprised. Yeah, like was, yeah. the way the way the Asian dude was fighting. I love how we're in North York and then there's mad Asian people and then when the Asian dude was whooping on um, Ethan Hunt and Superman, like I could feel like the pride of the Asians. 
because I felt it. I was like, yeah, <laughs> get him. Because okay. it was like two on one. But the way he was doing it, yeah, remember yeah, he kept yeah, jabbing yeah. the throat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was like, yeah, that yeah. would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was, good. that is how you would stop one dude and then you could fight the other dude. Yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that one. I remember when he even threw the kick? Because uh, I was like, oh, like, how are they going to do it? Like, he, they made him like a Hapkido ish kind of guy with like mm. kicks and punches. When he, uh, uh, he was holding Superman, who was on his knees, and then he punched him in the face and then Roundhouse kicked him in the chest. I was like, ooh, that is when you would use it. Not like you wouldn't yeah, yeah, throw yeah. a roundhouse kick in the middle of a fight because it could hurt, you know what I mean? Right, right, yeah. This is yeah. very, I yeah, like that, that was a good one, yeah. Good choreography. And the only way they could kill only, him was getting yeah. shot. It was yeah, like, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that was a lot of blood. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was, yeah. Uh, there was one effect that I did like when they went through the lightning. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, cool. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. oh, I've never seen this done before. Yeah. That was when, cool. When I, when I looked down too, it's funny because I was like, I was feeling that massive, like that was a great yeah, scene yeah, yeah, to yeah. film. When he looked out and he saw the storm, I was like, oh, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go through that. I was like, oh, yeah. oh, I don't think anyone's going to double this. check this. <laughs> and then when he went, oh, yeah, we should double check that. And I was like, yep, I felt that too. The storm looked too intense. Yeah. Yeah, but that was a cool. I've never seen anyone, I think, do that kind Pull of thing. off a halo jump over a storm. Yeah, but then he hear that lightning. Yeah, they oh, did the effect. Sick. That was like, oh, that's. Yeah. I think that's something you could only pull off in IMAX, though. Like if it was a smaller I guess so. theater, because like the booming sound of the IMAX, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, there's a short list I would have liked. The other thing was because uh, I hear like people talk about Kashmir, the when they, the place that they went to. Is that like Kashmir, like the actual? Material? I don't. Mm, Is that where it's so. from? That's no, going. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea about that. Sunday. But people who have been there are saying it's like looks nice. I was like, oh shit, it did look nice. Oh okay. That's what I was like. Oh, I've never seen that place. So. But it might not even be the actual one though. Yeah. I think they use certain real things from that. Some of it, yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But whatever they portrayed was like, oh cool. That was, was kind of interesting. That one part where it's like. I'm the guardian angel, and then like the guy was like, oh, we have a guardian angel. I like how they made his wife married. That was cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, well, that storyline's done now. We're obviously going to go in the next direction with this spy girl. Mm. And then I like how they're like, there's only two people Ethan never cared about, his wife and you, you know? <laughs> they had to go into that so that we knew. Because I was like, who the hell is this girl? She came out of nowhere. What's going on? <laughs> and that's it, yeah. And then and that fighting in the house, that was lead. the main thing, yeah. And the fighting in the house is good, too. I like how... Um, it's funny how they're making smaller people use a lot of jujitsu now, like especially women, like um, mm. like uh, uh, what's her name, Black Widow used jujitsu. The woman spy in this used jujitsu, like those like triangle holds. Yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, those are pretty cool. Right. Yeah, because it is meant for a smaller, weaker opponent. Mm-hmm. But it's just like I don't know. I, I like Ethan Hunt's fighting style better. Like, cause it's like, it's more like, like when she's like, you use a scalpel and I use a hammer, you could see it in their fighting styles. Like, like Henry yeah. Cavill's freaking fighting style was like boxing. It was like crazy. Like it was his powerhouse, you know? Yeah. That's what you should take to Superman. Bring it to Superman like that. That's true. Those fighting styles. True, 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 true. Yeah. Um, I guess the, the thing that I hated was how it made me feel dumb. Um, and the juxtaposition of the two the two styles like you can't have a serious comedy makes I, no sense yeah right well i think because they know it's so it's weird it's, it's and, a comedy and yeah, yeah it's so like, it's like all the spy stuff is like you can't take it too seriously that's yeah, why the comedy is in yeah, there yeah. right uh and then uh i think that was the whole point why they had the comedy right it's just Okay, this is all ridiculous stuff, so we gotta add some comedy to Yeah, for sure. To, to, you know, you can't take this seriously. Yeah, true, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and it's a little dragging. I didn't like, yeah, I didn't like I, the backstories. So yeah. I thought it was gonna end, I was like, oh, this would be a nice to be continued part. Actually, the movie would have ended right in the beginning. If they just killed, <laughs> if they just killed his friend, yeah, yeah true, <laughs> true, very true. <laughs> The whole thing spun off because done. he made a mistake, or like because yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he wasn't a real spy. Yeah. But I remember when he was like flying away, Henry Cavill in the helicopter. Mm -hmm. If you guys made that like a to be continued, that would be sick, because then Ethan Hunt would have lost. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna end there, but it didn't. I was like, damn. No, I don't I have think... to sit through more of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and I didn't like the backstories. Like, the characters didn't feel very fleshed out. I didn't like how you could tell he was the bad guy right characters? away. Which characters? Like, the, the girl spy. Um, was Henry she in Cavill. the other movies? I don't no, know. she wasn't. Oh, okay. Henry Cavill. So just added her in. Yeah. I see. Uh, and... Henry um, Cavill was just... Yeah. I, di- I didn't like how they made... I didn't like how they made the syndicate seem so big and bad, but it was like... That's why you should have made a part two, so that he could fight more of the syndicate. But it was just like, oh, right. it was easier than we thought. And I also didn't like how Henry Cavill gave away his... They gave away his position too early. Like, oh, he's a bad guy. What, they gave it away when he's like, this is the phone we recovered. But the phone well, was smashed. The phone smashed. was already cracked, yeah. Yeah, and then this was not cracked. So I was like, yeah. okay, he's evil. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of lame. I don't know. Maybe they just want to tell us that. So. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Up to them to find, figure out who did it. Like, Ethan Hunt to do that, that trick. I guess, but he ended up actually being the bad guy. Like, there's no twist. You gave it away. Yeah. You gave the answer away right away. Yeah, that's true. Right. I thought they were going to, like, double switch on you, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and and the only thing I really liked was um, the running scene. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, the fighting. Oh, the and, fighting. yeah, and then the, they, they kept that shot in where he, well, I guess that was the only shot they did take, or I don't know. Like, when oh, he, he jumped broke across his, and broke his broke ankle. His yeah. ankle. So yeah. kept that in. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> All right. So, final score? Not gonna change. It's gonna be the same. Six. Six. Uh, I will tell you. I'm gonna go down. Three point five. Wow. All right. Let me. You want me to tell you? Because you make me think about how terrible it is. I'm like, oh, I had. I had a higher. Yeah. It looked like it was more. Uh, like more people. Like, I had a list, and the, mm-hmm. there was more on the bad side than the good side of it. Like, so I guess, yeah, just not working out. So you want another review? The review is... We're checking the IMDb score. Well, there's a different one, so let's just see whatever Google brings up here. Ooh, 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, people. Sad life. Let's see the Five audience. Five out of five. Oh, my God. Wow. 94 right. from the audience. Okay. <laughs> so, basically, um, <laughs> this this is perfectly summed up in that John Mayer post that I just posted where he's like, he's like, you make a hit off of two chords or four chords people don't want complexity no they don't they just want to have fun yeah they just want to have fun and i think that's probably what, that's why i just said it wanna works. Have fun. yeah that is why it's see you know what i'm saying it's like wow that's really wow okay people got other good job to do. that's true oh hear that that is the signal to the end of the podcast a very short we're being beckoned so till next time um, stay stay simple actually they were talking about this like that's probably why lo-fi you know lo-fi like um, beats and stuff okay like um, DJ remixes and, like um, lo-fi lo-fi hit. Chill, chill step yeah they say I was watching a thing about it and the reason why people like it is because it's so simple it's the same melody over and over that's why you can like study to it so it's mm-hmm. almost like I'm realizing that people crave simplicity versus complexity. Yes. They, they crave complexity in their technology, but they crave simplicity in... Um, what? They crave complexity in technology? Yeah, because you want complex... No, no, simplicity in the execution, but you want complexity in like what it can do. You want it automated. You want it so complex in its, in its build that it can make life simple for you. Oh, you mean like that, but they're not thinking like that, though. No, no, I know, I know. But, yeah. like, think about how difficult it is to make SpaceX. It's very complex. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's simple for the consumer. So no, no, consum- oh, no, no, no. That's what I'm trying to say. I, yeah, yeah, I get that. I'm consumers, just saying that the consumer is not thinking of that. No, they're not. They're just they're thinking of simplicity. Some, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, like, we want simplicity in our products. Yeah. And what we receive. Yeah. So that's the whole motto of Apple. Yeah, but that's just, like, it so it's, like, how difficult was it to film all those scenes? Very difficult. How simple was it? Very simple to view. It doesn't work everywhere. I was like trying to read about like why Apple doesn't sell well in India. Okay, because they crave complexity and everything. <laughs> I think so. It's, uh, people they focus on specs and stuff. It's like the people that want. Uh, it's like people that want that uh, freaking Android. Like the one thing that's famous, I didn't realize. I, like I heard of it when Apple doesn't have it. Dual SIM. The hell's that? Exactly. 
So you could switch SIMs? Yes. Oh, no, that being, no, one, no, 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 no. In one that, phone. And no, that, that's, that's one that's of the a practical reason because if you're SIM dot, yeah. so they need that kind of stuff. It makes sense, yeah. It's for, like, utilitarian reasons. But, yeah. yeah. But I don't think that it's like that anymore. Like, what I mean that it, the, I think they've hit, they have the bandwidth and whatever. Mm-hmm. They just, it's because it started, it hasn't gone away yet. Like, yeah. People got used to the deal soon. How funny is it that people want, like, simplicity, but we can't, like, we, we, we crave complexity, but we, no, no, we, we state that we want complexity, but we crave simplicity. We want to be told what we're doing is the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like um, we seek out, we, we seek out, like, we seek out complex things to make it seem simple. Right. But we don't realize our approach is very simplistic. So, like, uh, good uh, good examples like like spiritualism, like we want love to be spread out through the whole world. That's the simplistic approach, right? But the complex approach is realizing that love is a construct in your own mind. So like good and bad are not real. Mm-hmm. So, but that's too complex. The consumer wants simplistic. Okay, just spread love. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Because we want to we want to feel good, just like the movies. That's why um, Mission Impossible got ninety seven percent. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? But then there's like movies like we like. It's not matching at all that like exactly. the Batman vs Superman. Yeah, very which complex. is a perfect movie. Yeah, it's awesome movie. But oh, that's like three. People don't like it. Like, made you think too hard. Yeah, that's why you got to keep it keep it simple, stupid. But that was simple too. I just don't get it. The, it's uh, it's it's the marketing method too. Keep it simple. Keep it Stu- simple, stupid. stupid yeah. yeah, because yeah, that's what that's what people really want. They don't really want to know the nitty and gritty. They want to say they want to know the nitty gritty, but what it takes to get to the nitty. I don't think everyone says. It, like, um, yeah. it, it's sort of like this: like uh, simple is complicated, understood, but people don't want to go through the complicated to understand it simply. They just mm. want it simple. Yeah. 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 I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So until uh, next time. That was funny. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. We we'll a regular podcast next week. I nice. believe. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think so. Take it easy. Peace. Simple. <laughs>